Right, today I am playing with a midget. I've uh, had enough of getting hit on the head with the roll bar every time I drive through the brake rollers, bringing it in. So I'm bottling it in. First thing I need to do, take the seats out, take all my rubbish out from the uh, back here, all the carpets and bits of trim that I've already removed. And uh, that will give me a bit more access to it and then we can get it bolted in and I'll show you. Right, that's all that lot removed. Just take the last bit of carpet out. And luckily, there's not too much annoying horror stories down here. There's no rust, which I was kind of expecting and hoping, but it's good to uh, see that there isn't any. So, the roll bar fits somewhere like that. As far as I can tell. And uh, so might need to take the roof out as well actually. So that one sort of does line up where I need it to. Um, that plate there doesn't quite sit right. And this side is miles off. Oh no there you go. Yeah. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure um, exactly where all this goes because there's no tutorial videos online. I couldn't find anything. Found pictures of the roll bars having been fitted, but nothing on how to fit them. I think what I might do is unbolt the roof because the roof might not even be going on anyway because it's in such a state. Um, I'll unbolt the roof, give me a bit more space, and then okay. So this one here is all in, as you can see. Um, it sits up against this edge here. And on this side, it's sitting up against the edge here as well. So uh, width-wise, I know it's pretty much there or thereabouts. And these ones sit just above the seat belt mount. Same on that side. So the next thing I need to do is drill holes. So I'm going to use a little scribe and just mark where the bolt holes are going to go. Drill those, that one and that one, bolt them in, and then I can use a hammer and some heat and try and shape these to fit before bolting them in. Okay, apologies for the noise in the background. Selena's grinding the uh, beetle over there. Uh, right, so I've drilled two top holes, and then I'm going to put a bolt in there, bolt in there. Now I'm going to tighten these up. Um, the other side of them is just up under the wheel arch, as you can see up there. Um, so I'm going to tighten these two up and see what sort of clearance we've got here. Uh, but probably what I'll do is get one of these two bolted in on each side. Um, I can drill them with the, with the bar in place. Uh, certainly if it's the back one would be a lot easier because uh, the drill fits quite nicely there. Um, that will then yeah, so the roll bar will then be in. I can then try and knock these bits back where these plates are bent, whether it's through storage or transportation, I don't know. Same with the other one there. And then that will be the roll bar fitted in. Now, I'm not just gonna go in with a bolt and a normal nut. Uh, I've got some big repair washers, big three mil thick repair washers. Uh, in the future, I might put a, a big, maybe five mil metal plate behind it, just to spread the load a little bit. Um, and I've also got some lock nuts to go on, but for the meantime, just for now, uh, I'll probably just use the big washers and the standard nuts uh, just to hold it in place while we draw the rest of the holes. So that's my next job. I'll probably, um, just purely because I've lowered the back. Uh, but hell, I know I can get to it, all right. This one's up here, actually. I'm gonna have to take the wheels off, so what I might do is Jack the car, put the car up in the air, uh, jack up the back of the car, and to just make life a little bit easier with the wheels off. So 
they're all bolted in to the big washer, which annoyingly the diameter of the hole there, I think they're about 16 mil or 14 mil rather than 10. So I'm gonna have to get the right size washers before making all this permanent. But that one's in, that one's in, and the bar is solid. The whole car is moving with it. Uh, so you can see it does fit pretty flush there now. And um, there is still a gap there. So I'll get a, um, I've got a big brass punch. We'll knock that in, knock that one in, but not before knocking that in and that one. And I'll bolt these two ends in first just to pull the back of it down. And I'll probably loosen these off while I tighten them up just to make sure it does bolt in square. You see there's a little bit of movement there from the roll bar. So yeah, those two, the next ones. in uh, obviously I still need to undo it again it's not finally done I need some washers small washers for this end and the washers that I put underneath uh, the actual holes these are I'll check on the pack these are m16 washers and they're only m10 bolts so I'm gonna get some uh, these are also three three mil thick so I really want to try and get some five mil thick ones um, but there are m10s and I'm slightly concerned that the extension on there how long the threads are uh that the wheel on full uh, bump will could dig into that so i might get some shorter bolts or cut those ones down um but i'm happy that the roll bar is in and it looks so much better look at that much sportier looking and i don't think i'm going to put the roof back on because i mean the roof is a mess it really is it's really had it, it's a bit past it. Uh, you can see it's all torn around here. Uh, I know I said I wouldn't use it and I have used it, but I haven't liked using it. And seeing as I've got no heater in it anyway, might as well just, if you're gonna be cold, you might as well look good while being cold. So we'll keep it like this. Um, thank you for watching. I hope that has helped someone. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, um, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>